I'm going to take shots at Colin Coward. I like Colin. I think he knows his stuff. I've had a lot of backlash to Colin. I met him years and years ago in Miami. Big, funny, very eccentric. But to attack the 92 Olympic team is like attacking one of the greatest teams put together. And I don't want to hear that Larry Bird was washed up. I don't want to hear that Magic Johnson was washed up or Chris Mullen, or Scottie Pippen. First of all, Jason Tatum was not a better player than Scottie Pippen. Maybe offensively he was. Defensively, not even close. Scottie Pippen is one of the top 10 defensive players to ever play the game. Anthony Davis is not better than Patrick Ewing. Okay? He's just not. Anthony Davis is an athletically gifted player. There's no question that he is. He was a better defensive player than Patrick Ewing. Offensively, he's not. Now, the game was different. Now, in in the 90s, the game was all about defense. It was all about defense to offense. And and obviously, you could put your hands on the players. If you put your hands on a player now, you're going right to the free throw line. So it's a different game. But to even compare this Olympic team to that team, is absolutely ridiculous. And to say that LeBron James is even in the same realm as Michael Jordan, in conversation, Michael Jordan was in the prime of his career in 1992. LeBron James is 40 years old. 40. When Michael Jordan played in 92, Michael Jordan was, I I think, if I'm not mistaken, 30 or 31 years old. He was in the prime of his career. He didn't even win all those championships yet. When he went on those three for three, championships. Remember, he won six championships in eight years. Six in eight. He probably won a one eight in a row, which no NBA team has ever done. But the fact is, when you look at the Olympic team, now, obviously, half of these players are better than Christian Leitner. Who is that? <laughs> Christian Leitner was a great college player. Is there any college players on this team? No. And if you were to ask me right now, who is better, Chuck Daly or Greg Popovich? I'm going to take Chuck Daly. I'm going to tell you why. Chuck Daly coached Bill Lambeer. He coached, obviously, Thomas and, and, and a bunch of Detroit Pistons. And, and by the way, Dennis Rodman, he developed Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman was not the Dennis Rodman that you saw on the Bulls. Not yet. It took years for Dennis Rodman to develop that skill, that, that defensive and rebound prowess. Now, at the time when they won, and the last championship that they won, Dennis Rodman was figuring it out. Dennis Rodman wasn't even on the dream team. He was one of the best rebounders, one of the best defensive players in all of basketball, and he wasn't on that Dream Team team. That's how good, how much depth was on that Dream Team. Magic Johnson, obviously, with the AIDS and all those stories, there was a lot of questions if he was going to play in the Olympics. But Magic Johnson still had game. Larry Bird could still play the game. You're going to tell me John Stockton wasn't in the prime of his career? Mm -hmm. Carl Malone wasn't in the prime of his career? David Robinson wasn't in the prime of his career? Colin, come on, man. Are you blind? Are you, you're, Let's go. Let's look at the roster right now. Anthony Davis can't stay healthy. When he is healthy, he's a good player. You want to compare? You're comparing Anthony Davis to Patrick Ewing. Patrick Ewing never won a championship. He didn't. But he also never played on a talented team with the, arguably one of the greatest players in the world, one of the top five players of all time in LeBron James. When he was on the Pelicans, what did he win? He won nothing. Patrick Ewing played with John Starks, Charles Oakley. These guys were secondary players, thirdary players. They weren't top-end players. Who was the other superstar of that team in the 90s? John Starks? That's the facts. He was not better than Patrick Ewing. He was not. Now, as far as the fact that he's trying to compare Jason Tatum to Scottie Pippen, Scottie Pippen was in the prime of his career in 91-92. He was the best defensive player in all of basketball. Him and Michael Jordan, you can argue, were the two best defensive players in basketball when they played on the Olympic team. If you think one-on-one in the prime of his career, Jason Tatum was better than Scottie Pippen, you obviously don't know basketball. Scottie Pippen was always looked as not an elite player. I don't know why, because he was elite. He played, he was shadowed by Michael Jordan. That's the facts, he was. Michael Jordan, and when Michael Jordan retired and Scottie Pippen had to take over, did he not take over? Was he not one of the best players in the league? I look at LeBron James and I look at KD and I look at Steph. To say they're not washed up, that's crazy. KD is 35 years old. They're going to be 36. Steph Curry is 34, 34 going to be 35. They're at the tail end of their careers. LeBron's 40. You're going to tell me LeBron James is a better player now than Michael Jordan was in 92? If we go for tick for tack, okay, on this team, I would compare Joel Embiid, 
David Robinson. Now, Joel Embiid is more athletic. It's a different game. Was Is Joel Embiid better better defensive player than David Robinson? He was not. No. Okay, he wasn't. The Admiral was better. We'll compare Anthony Edwards right now to Clyde Drexler. Right now, is Anthony Edwards better than Clyde Drexler in 92? The answer, no. Clyde Drexler was one of the best offensive players in the league, played for Portland in 92. He was still at the prime of his career. So I would say no. I would take right now Clyde Drexler, Devin Booker. I'll connect him to Chris Mullen. Is Devin Booker a better three-point shooter than Chris Mullen? No. Is Devin Booker a better player than Chris Mullen was in 92? Yes, he is. So I would give that to the the Olympic team right now. Tyrese Halliburton. All right, point guard. John Stockton. Not a chance in hell. Bam out of bio. Is Bam out of bio better than the mailman? The answer, not a chance in hell. Okay. <laughs> Carl Malone was in the prime of his career in 92. All right. This is when they went to back to back championships a couple of years later. Not a chance in hell. So let's now let's go to the starters. Michael Jordan's better than Jason Tatum. I would say Steph Curry at this time is better than Magic Johnson. So I'd give that to the Olympic team right now. The three, LeBron James or Charles Barkley in his prime of his career. Mm -hmm. I'm going Charles. Kevin Durant against Scottie Pippen. Now, offensively, I would go Kevin Durant. Defensively, Scottie Pippen. And honestly, Scottie Pippen was in the prime, and Kevin Durant is at the tail end of his career. I'm going with Scott. Larry Bird versus Anthony, Anthony Davis. Davis. I'm taking Larry Bird. There really is no comparison to the Olympic Dream Team. It, you cannot compare the Dream Team to whatever you call this team. There, this is a bunch of old players. Honestly, Steph Curry is old. I'm not saying he's not good still. He's yeah. old. Kevin Durant is old. LeBron James is old. This team uh, against the Olympic team, uh, against the dream team, has no chance. The game was different then. You can put your hands on the players defensively. I remember, I, I don't know if anybody knows the story. I don't know if they anybody watched The Last Dance. When Magic, John, Magic Johnson talked about, you know, splitting up the, the dream team. And Michael Jordan was on one team and Magic was on the other. And Magic Johnson and, and that side was winning and, and kicking the crap out of the the dream team, the Michael Jordan side. And Michael Jordan just took it to another level and completely destroyed. Magic Johnson said the second half of the game was Michael Jordan and everybody else. Michael Jordan is the best player to ever play the game. To compare anybody. And by the way, Michael Jordan was in the prime of his career. He didn't even retire yet. He actually retired after that. He retired after the dream team. He didn't really get into that second notch of his career. That's how crazy it is. He just won his first title in 91, 92. Colin Coward had the balls to come out and try to say, well, LeBron and, and KD and Steph, they're much better than any of the top three players of that Olympic team. Okay, so the top three players of that Olympic team, you have Michael Jordan, you have Charles Barkley, Scotty Pippen. If you played a three-on-three -three tournament, with those three guys versus LeBron James, Steph Curry, and KD right now, at their ages, the Jordan team would win. And wouldn't it wouldn't even be close.